collected our information together. Up there behind you, as you can see, this is one of the largest lake in the whole world. This is Lake Nasser. This lake, by the way, it was formed after the construction of my dam. That's between 46 villages already were lived around this area. About 150 sound views already they were lived from the Nubian views who already were lived there. And more than 13 temples here around this area we had. That's why at the time when he decided to build the high dam, he had to meet two main problems, the Nubians and the treasures. The Nubians, he had to immigrate them or transport them from here to the north of Aswan in the town of Kumombo right now for the treasures, for the temples, how he can do, especially at the time Egypt hadn't no more money to build the high dam, to build new houses for the Nubians, to save more than 13 temples. That's why he asked the UNESCO to help Egypt. More than 51 nations agreed to help with us, like United States, England, French, German, Chinese, Japanese, Australians, Canadians, really all of those people they helped. Why they help it? For our eyes? No, madam, because it's a heritage for all of us. That's why they helped us. Especially when President Master, at the same time, he asked them to borrow him more money for the for the construction of the high dam, they refused. But because this is a heritage for all of us, that's why they helped us. You get it, me? By the way, I'm so sorry, my colleague. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I forget no. myself. No, 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 no. Oh, you're passionate. That's good. <laughs> that's that's good. Very passionate. Yeah. But uh, for you, have a seat here, please. Yeah. Because my, uh, my, no. Especially, they didn't use any any material like cement or gypsum. They just use a chemical material, like a glue, like a jelly. That's why you can't see where is the cut that's inside. Also, can you see here? Please try to compare between those two pictures for the same statues. Here when they finish from their cutting and try to shift it out the head. But here when they try to shift it in again. That's right. Here also is a small temple when they finish from their cutting and then they rebuild it again. Oh, so they did that with the, the same. Oh. Both of them, I'll, right now I'll see you, madam. Where is the two temples it was? Here is one of the dome, but before we covered it by sand or rocks. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, have a look all of you. Can you see this plateau? Please have a look down. Can you see this big, uh, this plateau? Uh -huh. Down, not, not down the top of the plateau, down the level waters, about oh. 66 meters. Down, up there, my doctor. Oh. Up there, down there is this plateau, about 66 meters below. This is the original location of the Great One. Oh. But beneath that plateau, under the stage of the sound of light show directly, is the original location of the small one, the small temple. I mean, we have to move all of them together and move that about 66 meters higher and 200 feet. على الستيج ده بتاع الصوت والضوء بتقعدي وتختار اللغة اللي يعجبك وبتبدأ الساعة ستة ونص وتخلص الساعة ونص بيقول لك بيقفل الساعة أربعة المعبد بيقفل الساعة أربعة لكن الصوت والضوء بيبدأ بعد بالليل عشان الفلكسي الراجل كان عايز يروحنا طب ثانية واحدة ذا ذا جاي وانتد تو تيك اس باك تو أسوان هي سيد دي ذا أوريجينال لوكيشن أوف ذا تو تيمز ذاتس بيفور وي موف ذيت كان يو سي مش هتشوفيها تاني الصورة دي يعني دي كانت ده في المعبدين oh, قبل ما يتقطعوا كانوا سي ذا ريفر نايل ات واز فيري كلوز تو ذا تو تمبرز رايت ناو وات اي سيد بيفور ذيس جاست سمول بي اباوت ذيس اريا اند اباوت هاو وي كات ات رايت ناو بليز ماي دير فريندز بيفور اي ستارت ماي هيستوريكال باك جراوند اباوت ذا تو تمبرز لين مي يور هارت بيفور يور ايرز اور يور ايز تو ليت ذيس تو فور يو مور سويت ذيس بليس راوت يو رايت ناو يو كان ايماجن توجيذر ذات وي ار ستاندينج Of the great temple of King Ramesses the second. Ramesses the great, king of the kings, lord of the desert, as he called himself, as he pretend himself. But before we start, we have to ask ourselves at the first, why? Why Ramesses already he decided to build that great, that unique, that amazing temples here? I know you have seen more temples before that one, but please don't try to compare between Abu Simbel to any other temples throughout Egypt. At the end, I'll tell you why. By the way, my dear friends, why, my dear friends, he decided? When he decided to build, he had many reasons. Political, economic, and religious reasons. The political reason, he wants to control his southern border region. From the Nubians and the African 
enemies. As you know, just 120 kilometers from here, we can reach to the northern border of Sudan. So he wants to control the southern border of Egypt. I mean, this is a political or strategic reason. That's right. About the hundreds of the 13 temples, that's much easy to move. Why? The other temple, like Philae, it was built like this, one by one. I mean, block by block. That's much easy to dismantle those blocks and to rebuild it again. About those two temples, it's hardness to deal with them like this. Why? Those two temples, it doesn't build. Those two temples, like a caves, just the whole temple curved out inside the solid rock, inside the cliff. That's when we had to move. How we can move the mountain? That's not logic. That's why. After with one year with more discussion between the engineering and the Egyptologists, they decided to cut it, the whole temples to huge blocks, to big stones at least, for each one sometimes reach to 20 to 30 tons for each one. Also when they want to cut it, they just used the hand saw and electric saw, the thickness saw, which they used it from outside, just 6 millimeters. But the thickness saw, which they used it from inside, just 4 millimeters. That's why it's really hardness for anyone to discover really where is the cut 